Hey guys, it's Jeff from Pressure Luck, and uh, what does the phrase go? Yeah, what's up, Doc? Guess what, my friends? Fresh off the success of the fourth book that just came out, my green one, my fourth Instant Pot book, Super Shortcut Instant Pot, which is undoubtedly my quickest and easiest of all four of my books, with just as much flavor, but they're all easy. You should get them all anyway, but this is really the easiest because no recipe exceeds 10 ingredients, all basic. Some have as few as two or three ingredients in this book, there's a range there, but no more exceed 10, no Instant Pot recipe. I wanted to now take this moment to expand a little bit. But keep things just as simple as you're used to with my cooking. The same step-by-step -step instructions, just keeping it super simple and super delicious. So I have a carrot in my hand, and I do love me a nice carrot. Who doesn't? They serve many purposes. They're great snacks. They work as noses on snowmen. You can make cakes with them. You can do so much with a carrot. So Richard and I absolutely love roasted carrots. And actually lately in many restaurants I've been seeing, I think it's a trend that's going on right now. I know that carrots have been around since the beginning of time and all that, but everywhere I seem to have roasted carrots as a side. And I, and I don't feel like I didn't used to see that. It's everywhere now. But we've always loved roasted carrots. And you know what? The star is the carrot because it already has a sweetness to it. But how about we, Peel the carrot, we're gonna get this little layer off, and then we're gonna just basically toss it in this delicious seasoned olive oil that's super simple, and then we're just gonna lay it out on a baking sheet or pop it in an air fryer, and then you're gonna have the most amazing sweet and savory roasted carrots. Oh, and by the way, this recipe only requires six or possibly seven ingredients, and you'll see what that possible seventh ingredient is. So let's get sassy like Bugs Bunny would do and start hopping away because Elmer Fudd's gonna be chasing us for these carrots that are that delicious. Let's go. So now I wanna preheat my oven to 400, you see that, it's a little blurry. Yeah, there we go, 400 degrees Fahrenheit. So of course the first thing we wanna focus on are our carrots. I wanna use two pounds of carrots and you could really use any size you want. You know, this is the kind that I got from the grocery store. These are about medium-ish size. Some of them are larger, like this one's a pretty large, thick-ish carrot, but I've seen carrots that are much larger and thicker. Uh, however, you could absolutely use your own carrots in your garden if you want. It doesn't make a difference. But generally, I like to use carrots about this size, and now what I wanna do is just peel them up, and then after I've peeled my carrots, I'm also gonna slice off the very tops of them where they're kind of like all like nubby and any strange looking tips at the bottom there so they're nice and clean. And look at that, I, that kind of forms a heart here. Put them in a bowl, a large mixing bowl, and this is the right size really for a whole carrot. You see this? It's about that, that's perfect. If you have a larger one like this, what you can do is you can do this. I've sliced it in half and then I took the thicker topper part and then I just like cut it down the middle. That's fine. By the way, if you don't want to peel any of your carrots because it is without question the most intensive part of this recipe and it's not hard, it's mindless work, but it could be a little bit annoying, you can absolutely use about two pounds of baby carrots that are already peeled in their little nubbins. The cooking time will vary, but I'll explain that in the recipe itself. What I want to do is I want to take a quarter cup, which is also four tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil and just pour them over my carrots or pour it over my carrots. I don't think that it's plural when it's olive oil. And now I'm going to season with one teaspoon each of salt. I'm using kosher salt, but you can use regular iodized salt or sea salt, that's fine. Uh, as well as a teaspoon of dried thyme, a half a teaspoon of dried oregano and a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. Put that on top, just like that. And this is optional because carrots already give off their own sweetness, especially when roasted or baked. But I also like to add in one tablespoon of a light or brown dark sugar. Wait, wait, a light or dark brown sugar. What is going on with me today? That's optional. You don't have to add that teaspoon of it, but I like to. So now we're gonna get in there with clean hands and just mix everything up, making sure the carrots are nice and coated in all the seasonings and the oil. Okay, and now that I've mixed everything together, we are looking just perfect. My hands are covered in oil. Of course, you can use gloves, but they're clean, so we're good. And my oven's preheated, perfect. All right, now we're gonna lay this on a baking sheet. Okay, so now I have a large baking sheet that I've lined with parchment paper. And from here, I am going to lay my carrots in a single layer right on it. And if I'm using the air fryer, I'm gonna do this in the air fryer basket, probably in batches because a single layer is kind of key here. 
But again, I'll explain all those details in the recipe itself. By the way, in case you didn't know, all my recipes are written up on my website, pressurelockcooking.com. Sometimes I have people saying to me, it would be really helpful if you could put the recipe inside of the video description, but guess what? The link is there to the recipe. Go, check it out. And you don't have to put them all in the same direction, like this is fine. Just make sure they're kind of in their own layer. And this is looking perfect. We might have a little bit of uh, some of the oil left over, and that's fine. We can brush it on at the very end if we want to. Okay, now I'm going to go to my oven. I'm going to open it up and pull out the center rack. My oven has this lovely rack drawer on it. And then I'm going to place my carrots with the baking sheet on the center rack, and then put it in the oven, close the door, and now I want to set my timer for 50. That is five zero minutes. You see that? Five zero minutes, 50 minutes. And that's really how long it's going to take to make sure that these carrots are properly roasted. Believe me on that. You can check on them a little bit before, but it's going to be around 50 minutes. If you have smaller carrots, it'll be a little bit less time. Maybe check in on them around 30 or so minutes. Just make sure they're going to be fork tender, and we'll do that test afterwards. And if you choose to do this in the air fryer, I'll explain how to do that in the written recipe, like I said. And after about 50, which is five zero minutes, of our carrots roasting in the oven, I am going to take them out. And, oh, those are looking nice. All right, let me show them to you. And the way to test that these carrots are done is with a fork. We want to take a fork and we want to press inside. Oh, look at this. If the fork is going right in, which it is, they are done. It's soft to the touch. They're hot right now, but that is perfect. Okay, now what I want to do is I want to transfer these to the serving dish. I'm going to use some tongs to do that. Okay. And by the way, I never had to flip these when they were in the oven. It was just fine as they were. And if I have any leftover oil here, which I just hit the camera, I'm gonna take it and you can just brush it on your carrots. And voila, roasted carrots, barely any work at all. Just do a little bit of prep there. Peeling the carrots is the hardest part. Throw that delicious seasoned olive oil on it, roast it for just about, just about under an hour, and then you're gonna have the most amazing succulent melt in your mouth carrots ever. Bugs Bunny's gonna be coming to your house. Now it's best to let these cool for about five minutes. Give it about five minutes. And if there are any leftovers later when you're done, or you could also make this ahead of time, by the way, you can totally put it in an airtight container and then pop it in the fridge. It'll taste great for about three to four days. Nice and cold is fine, or you can microwave them. And look at how beautiful that is. I did it on the diagonal here. It's nice in the square plate to present them, by the way, on the bias or diagonal. Uh, it gives it some nice extra oomph. It looks like a little fan, a fanning out of carrots. All right, let's try this healthy amazingness app. Can't wait. And okay, my friends, look at these beautiful carrots. They are gorgeous. In fact, I'm gonna show you how tender these are. I can literally take a fork and then watch this. You see this right in front of your eyes? I can just cut the carrot with my fork. Look at that. You see that? That's how tender they are. All right, let's try it out. There's something about carrots. I mean, they're awesome when they're raw, you got that nice crispy cool crunch to them like a cucumber or some celery. Oh, actually I hate celery raw. <laughs> but they have a, a similar crunch situation. But when you roast these, the sweetness comes out in droves. The flavor is next level. It's like dessert. Richard is obsessed with carrots. This is really why I did this recipe. Richard, come over here and try these out. Give us a try. Just you can use your fingers. Right. Say hi to everybody. Hello. Yeah, he's so handsome. And mmm. And they eat so nicely. If you cannot hear a crunch when you're biting into these, you cook them the perfect amount of time. You really want to go for about 50 minutes, just 50 to an hour you can really go for. That's about the right time, all right? Mm, it's really good, but you put on these. Is this rosemary? So, here's your olive oil, thyme, thyme, salt, pepper, oregano. I put a little bit of some light brown sugar. You can use dark. And um, I think that's it. That's it. It's pretty good. I like the, the flavors really, they help. They pull it out. Yeah. Really. And by the way, if there were smaller carrots, you'd probably go for less time. The point is, start with the la around 30 minutes minimum, right? Then do the fork test to make sure they're fork tender. If they're not, then, oh, I just scared Banjo with that. If they're not, keep going until they are. Just check on them. But for carrots about these size, five zero minutes, 50. Air fire will be quicker though, because it's more confined. Oh, this one is super soft. Watch this, ready? Watch this. Look at this, see this carrot? You're not gonna hear a thing. It melts in my mouth. Mm. Very good. Look. 
I can literally squish this with my fingers. So you're gonna see for yourself, look. All right, watch this. Ready? I squished it. It's squished. <sighs> Heaven. God, this one really wants in. He really wants in. Guys, if you enjoy these videos, check out all my recipes. They couldn't be easier. They're all super user friendly. They're designed for the home cook who doesn't really know how or even or maybe even is intimidated to cook uh, because if I can do it, you can. I'm an amateur myself as well as cooks who who are well versed in the kitchen and just want to break and make it something very simple. That's what you, you come to the right party here. PressureLawCooking.com, check out all my recipes there. Check out all my cookbooks. I've written four of them. This is my latest super shortcut Instant Pot. No, this was not an Instant Pot recipe, but you could do carrots in there. I have a recipe for it. I have a few, I have bake, carrot bacon, and I have a uh, maple bourbon like uh, uh, carrots, which are delicious, they get very soft when they're pressure cooked, but sometimes you want them roasted, right? And this is the way it's gonna happen today. Facebook.com slash pressure cooking, like that page for any time a new recipe comes out, deals on items, tips, things of that nature. This poor little guy over here, he's just hungry. Are you hungry? He looks like a little teddy bear or an Ewok, right? And at pressure low cooking on all the other socials, YouTube, uh, Pinterest, Instagram, all that stuff. Thanks for watching. And if you make these carrots and a rabbit appears at your door, followed by Elmer Fudd, well, then you did something right, because I'm telling you, these carrots, they ain't no dud. And that's the truth, Doc. <laughs> Richard's still another one. All right, enjoy. Mm, it's like candy, and it's healthy. It's good for you. It's good for you, Banjo. It's good for you.